mom skipped school with daughter. She ran for parent committee and encouraged students to cut back on homework. The school couldn't do anything about it. Her life changed dramatically. Amy got married and had two kids. In addition to her job, she was responsible for driving them to and from school. Her husband never shared the housework or cared about the children's development. Amy handled everything in the house by herself. Amy's exhausting life was finally crushed by an incident. She found out that her husband had a lover outside the home. She was busy taking care of her family every day, but her husband had already betrayed her. Amy decided to divorce her husband at the same time. She's fed up with the loss of her own life. She decided to free herself and relax. Amy met friends who were also mothers. The three of them decided to let go of their natural instincts and become bad moms. So Amy skipped school with her daughter and took her to a beauty salon for a full body facial. Amy's behavior looked very bad to the parent committee and Amy's inactive behavior makes the president very angry. The president threatened the school's football coach and made Amy's daughter a substitute player unable to play. When Amy finds out about this, she gets angry and talks to the president. But the president is so rich, she ignores Amy. Amy decided to run for parent committee. She wants to be the new president and reform the school. Amy took two of her friends to hand out pamphlets to other parents. But the parents had already formed their own circles. Few of them were willing to support the sudden appearance of Amy. Three bad moms had an idea. They decided to throw a party to canvas for votes. Meanwhile, the president heard about it and held a seminar on child development. All the parents went to the seminar hosted by the president. Amy and her friends only had one parent to come, but the unexpected always brings surprises. The parents were so bored with the seminar that they all went to Amy's house for the party. They had a great time letting go of the stresses of their lives. They had so much fun, they decided to vote for Amy. The president was afraid of losing her vote, so she came up with a plan. She put cigarettes in Amy's daughter's locker at school. After receiving the report, the principal asked Amy's daughter to go home and reflect and to quit the school's soccer team in the future. Amy didn't realize that her election decision would cause her daughter so much trouble. The daughter did not understand her mother and got angry with her. A cold war begins between mother and daughter. The daughter temporarily moves out to live with her father. Soon it was time for the parents' president election. But Amy didn't care anymore and decided to drop out of the race. Her children were the only thing that mattered to her. She doesn't want her daughter to be bullied at school. So she chooses not to run against the president. Two friends came to visit Amy and encourage her to run for office. They want her to be a role model and a brave mother. Amy was inspired by their words. She and her friends rushed to the campaign meeting. She didn't prepare a speech, but she said what was in her heart. In this day and age, it's hard to be a good parent. They are always worried about their children and sometimes they don't get the understanding of children. Sometimes she feels that her child is the devil, but she is willing to do everything for her child. At the same time, she also complained that her children had too much homework and asked parents to encourage their children's interests to develop. Amy's words resonated with the parents. They switched their votes to Amy. In the end, Amy won the election. Instead of mocking the president, she reconciled with her because their fight was for the children. But there are no certain rules for educating children. Everyone is becoming a mother for the first time which is the most real parent. Mothers are the most positive image in society. But we always overlook the fact that a mother is an ordinary woman. We praise them for their selflessness, but we forget to tell them to love themselves. 